Indeed, we do. So, and this morning, we, along with the rest of the world, continue to mourn the lives of those 129 people who were killed in coordinated terrorist attacks across the city of Paris on Friday night. Now, as news of the attacks rippled across the planet, social media played quite a significant role as a source of information and for people uh, giving them a ground platform or a platform to express themselves uh, and their opinions on these attacks. But is it always a good thing, you ask yourself? And so, to unpack the complex psychology of this crisis, as well as the role of social media in tragedies like this, we joined once again in studio by psychologist Megan DeBeer. Thank you very much once again for staying with us. Mm -hmm. And uh, as, as I was saying, it was a, it's, a, it's a great platform to uh, mm -hmm. disseminate this information and allow mm -hmm. people to express themselves. But then mm -hmm. invariably you do see these pictures of, of blood and gore and, uh, you know, unpleasant scenes. Mm -hmm. So can it be said that there should be a line drawn with regards mm -hmm. to um, too much exposure of information? Mm -hmm. There's um, the latest research in neuroscience is showing us that when we expose ourselves to these images over and over and they've become so graphic mm -hmm. with sound and action and, and life and, and what happens to us is that we begin to experience this as if it's happening to us. Mm -hmm. So it affects the way we think, the way we feel um, and, the, and the way we act. Just looking at these images over and over myself this morning, I can feel the kind of stiffness and closeness in, in my own body. Mm -hmm. So it makes, it depresses your mood. Um, you begin to express um, PTSD, PTSD like symptoms, your anxiety goes up. It's not healthy to continually look at these kind of images over and over. Mm -hmm. and, and yet, social media has at least allowed us to be able to empathize and, and, and care. Yeah and um, see that other people are suffering yeah. ar around the world. And I think that empathy has uh, somehow, I guess, resulted in a unification of people uh, mm -hmm. through this tragedy. But mm -hmm. uh, on the other side of the scale um, is that it has also pulled people apart with people expressing very extreme mm -hmm. opinions. Mm -hmm. what, what, what is your thoughts on uh, this, the role of social media? Yeah. Is it bringing us closer together? Or All right. Not? There's, there's no doubt that when Facebook set up safety checks and we could all kind of just quickly check in people we knew in Paris mm -hmm. or we know in Paris or, or friends traveling there, are you okay? Are you safe? We could know immediately. It brought us great relief. It also allowed us to express our care and sympathy, which we saw a lot of. Um, around social media. So certainly in that way, it's good. The negative side is that people find um, a way to sort of blame and raise um, hate towards certain groups mm -hmm. and speak out really viciously. And, and we've got to remember that um, if we want to make a difference, we've got to come back to real life and recognize that um, we've, we've, we've got to focus on our own relationships, our relationship with ourselves, um, the love we have for each other in real time. Mm -hmm. By uh, screens tend to separate us from reality. So people think they could hit off hate, hate words mm -hmm. over the media and feel it doesn't belong to them. Yeah. Just always remember that um, any words we put out there eventually affect our own, yeah. our own character and who we are. Mm -hmm. And I think there's been a wonderful positivity come out of this because there's a campaign uh, called something like No More Hating, mm -hmm. hashtag No More Hating, mm -hmm. that, that you can go in there and begin to support this drive against um, this, this hate mail. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Megan, thank you so, so much for being with us this morning and uh, uh, helping us, uh, I guess, make sense of what happened yeah. on Friday. Yeah. Now, here's a question we have for you. Do you think social media helps or hinders the process of reconciliation? Let us know on our Facebook page or you can, of course, tweet us using our official hashtag, uh, Expresso Show. Right now, let's find out what else is coming up on your Feel Good Breakfast Show with Leanne.